Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're back on another boot fair. I've been trying a few different ones, but I'm back to my normal Sutton Rose Hill boot fair on a Wednesday morning. And it's an absolutely gorgeous day, which is fantastic. So I've got, I've got the old hat on and I've got a t-shirt on only. Um, there's a bit of a queue going in, I'll flip around and show you. Um, but yeah, a little bit busy this morning, so that bodes well, I think. Let's hope so. Yeah, there we go. Um, there are not normally vans to queue up and get in, um, but there were like a couple of rows of cars and vans today. Um, but as usual, there's only a couple of rows to start with. Um, but it's an absolutely lovely day. So I think I'm just going to enjoy the day, relax, go round. I've already got a lot this week um, that I've got to go through. My listing has taken a bit of a hit. Went to the seaside yesterday to enjoy a bit of... Uh, R&R &R, which was very nice um, but of course didn't get anything listed I think I've got to package a few things today as well and get out so that's going to be fun but yeah here we go uh, that building over there is St Heli Hospital where um, I've spent many <laughs> many a night in my youth and um, all my kids were born there so uh, yeah that's a, that's a good old hospital apparently it was built backwards interesting facts or I think so anyway. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with the boot fair. Well, I've done it again. I've filled the back table and I've just been told to um, move it. So I better do a haul video. So first off, we have a couple of keyboards here. This is not a bought one. This is one we've just moved here. But this one is a bought one. And it's um, an SDP, Social Democratic Party. Um, I think it stands for um, Digital Piano, Studio Digital Piano maybe. Uh, it comes with a sustain pedal, which is over here, an FR, whatever, FP1, foot pedal 1, power supply and stand. And it's, um, it's not got weighted keys. But it is a full length keyboard. Um, I bought it for £40. Bit of a risk. I won't be eBaying it because there's no way I'm sending that in the post. Or I will, well, I'll eBay it with local pickup and I'll Facebook it. Um, not too sure on price. Initial thoughts are around 150 maybe 200 We'll have to check it out. Shall we still share on that one? Yeah, pay £40. Um, right, let's go through these one by one. This is a Tiger who came to tea, plush. It was £3. It was at a stall where they were doing charity. It was a lovely lady, so I didn't barter. Oh, it is new with tags as well, so I thought £3 for that. Maybe a tenner or something. Um, then we've got a load of Sing Stars, which I always think are useful to have should you get the mics and want to do a bundle. So I've got absolutely loads. I've got, it says Sing Stars and Buzzes, which are kind of like two things that are always useful. Um, I think there's 15 in total. Yes, yeah, absolutely tons of them, tons of Sing Stars. And I checked about four or five of them, the discs were in good condition. Uh, the whole lot cost me a tenner. He was doing a pound each, but I got about 15 for a tenner, so that's not too bad. Then we've got our board game, London game. Um, I've never sold it before, but I thought it was, looked like the kind of thing that looked pretty good. Um, that was two quid. So we we'll see how we do with that one. This was from the Tiger Who Came to Tea Lady as well. And then new. And they're a great, great, great gift idea, I think. New jigsaw. Um, thousand piece, which is good. Sealed. Uh, only a pound. So, don't think I can really argue with that. There's two... Where can I shove this? <laughs> Answers on a postcard. Um, I was at the Last Supper. So, obviously, some sort of arty collection. A very beat-up Polaroid. But it'll clean up fairly well, and I'm sure I've never had one that doesn't work. It was a fiver, probably get 20 quid for it. 
um, a camera. I bought this off some clearance guys who I'm trying to kind of get in with, so I didn't argue with the price. Um, it was three quid. It's uh, it's an Olympus Trip, Trip 5. Uh, we'll have to look it up. I'm imagining around 15. Maybe optimistic, but we shall see. Now this, and what else did I get with this? There were two things, and they cost 12 quid. And I can't remember what the other one was. What was it? <laughs> Perhaps it's still in the car. I'm racking my brains here. Anyway, call that six quid for that. And it was six quid for something else. Which we shall come to in a minute, hopefully. Um, the Bumblebee helmet. And it has got both bits in the back. Which doesn't always happen. I've never had one that has the... I think it's got wings on it. I've never had one with that. Um, I can't remember how much this was. I'm going to say two quid. I think it was two quid. I don't think I would have paid much more than that. Uh, this was 50p. <laughs> kind of. We always regret buying these um, wrestling belts, but I think the white ones are slightly rare and not as good as they used to be. I imagine that would be like seven quid or something. Um, this was three quid. This is the first thing I bought. Um, won't be able to test it at all. Uh, but it has got, I think this is the crystal that goes in here. I absolutely know absolutely nothing about this sort of thing. Hasn't got the battery cover, but it has got the battery in there. So that would be sold as parts for 15 to 20, hopefully. Um, that was a quid, which is a bit expensive. Look at the state of it. Offered him 50p, but he wasn't having it. And this was two quid. And I'm still trying to desperately remember what I got with this. I'm going to have a little rummage around and see if I can find it. Because it doesn't appear to be on the table. Um, the Wii's. Four box Wii's and by no means complete. But I think they do all have consoles in them. Which is good. Um, this one obviously is the worst one but it has got the insides and one of these boxes hasn't got the insides. So it's probably, I can make like three boxes, hopefully. And that was 35 pound. Again, with a guy who I'm kind of happy to pay the price and um, try and build up the relationship there. <laughs> I, I always bar with him and, and I say we have a bit of a laugh. He probably thinks I'm a complete pain in the bum, but um yeah, I mean, four four box wheezes or, or three in total good ones for um, thirty five quid. I think that's all right. Let me try and find this other thing. Hang on. Well, I've remembered what it was, but I don't know where it is, <laughs> which is good. It was um, a third party Xbox One controller, uh, a kind of clear one, a what they called something a um, controller. Um, with the wire as well. So I don't know where that's gone. It's all a bit weird. But um, I'll have a hunt around for that and see if I can find it. But yeah, that was six quid. Anyway, I thought that was a um, fairly good haul. Um, if you like it, stick a thumbs up. And um, yeah, hope you all got good hauls too. Uh, Till next time, I'll see you later. Take care. Here it is. I'm not going mad. Well, not absolutely mad. Power A Afterglow Controller. These are nice controllers actually, and it looks in good condition. Um, so came with the cable, that was six quid. Fingers crossed it all works. If it doesn't, there you go. Um, yes, more hauls on Saturday I think, so see you then.